Hello Scorpio, this is Renee and welcome to my channel if you're new. If you're returning, thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate your support. Please keep hitting that like button and commenting below. It so makes a wonderful impact on my channel and I appreciate you so very much for your support. Scorpio, this is going to be your reading for January 1st through the 15th. And cards already want to pop out here. Okay, so we're starting this reading with the Three of Swords. Wow, Scorpio. We have the Nine of Pentacles. We have the Knight of Pentacles. We have the Two of Pentacles. And we have the Judgment. Okay. We have the Moon card. We have the Five of Wands. We have the Magician. Okay. There you go. We have the King of Pentacles. And we have the Eight of Swords. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio, what you may not expect, you have the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like that you're in the Eight of Pentacles energy. Um, I really feel like, Scorpio, um, I feel like you've been through heartbreak, especially in 2022. I feel like you've been through heartbreak, and now you're kind of enjoying your alone, alone time. I feel like you're working on yourself. You're working on your situation. You're building yourself up. Um, and I feel like, you know what, you are, you're okay with being alone right now. I feel like it's a situation that, yeah, you have the Queen of Cups underneath that. So, yeah, I definitely feel like you're, you're okay with being alone right now. You're in the, you have the Eight of Cups in reverse. So, yeah, I, I feel like you're kind of setting up boundaries. You are really not letting anyone in your space. You're feeling happiness in your own situation. I feel like you're at the point where you're like, well, if if I can't have this relationship, if no one else can make me happy, I'm going to do whatever it takes to make myself happy. And that's just how it's going to go. And I feel like that's exactly what you're doing. I feel like you're, you're concentrating on yourself, you're working on yourself, and you're making yourself happy. You're pleasing, you're doing whatever pleases Scorpio. And that's what I feel with that situation. Yeah, with the, um, the Three of Swords and the Nine of Pentacles, just like what I was saying, I feel like you've been through a heartbreak and you're not ready to heal right now. So I feel like you're, you're really having that alone time. And I feel like you're okay being alone. I feel like you're very independent. You are really concentrating on yourself. You're concentrating on your personal gains. Uh, you may be focused on your career at the moment. You have a lot of pinnacles in this reading. And you may be focused on, your, on yourself, on your wealth, on gaining whatever pleases Scorpio. Okay, you have the Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. So with the Knight of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles, I feel like you're really working hard right now. You're really working hard to find balance. I really see you focusing on your career at the moment. I really feel you are making choices for your future. This is you um, weighing your options for what you have. 
I feel like you're weighing options for what you want in your life and what you don't want. You're kind of making a mental list. Okay, I don't want to go through this again. I don't want to go that through it. I don't want to go through that again. I This is exactly what I want. This is exactly how I want this to go. And I feel like that's what you're doing with this Two of Pentacles. I feel like you're weighing your options for exactly what you want. And I with this situation, this is building you up in a way that you are able to gain a lot of clarity in your situation because you're able to focus on yourself because you're able to make those those final decisions on your own for your best good and i feel like this is moving you in a direction that is um actually really fulfilling for you because i see with the moon card and the five of wands you are You're making changes. You're making changes to your, maybe to your home, to your environment. I feel like you may be doing little things to yourself to change your appearance, to change um, the place around you. You may be moving into a different apartment, a uh, different house. You may be buying a house at this time and um, just totally changing your perspective about where you're going, where you've been, and what you want in your life. Because I feel like you're you're more playful. I feel like you're more at ease. I, I feel like you're able to really take in life with this spark, this spark of joy, to be playful, to find, have fun, to have joy. And it's actually really creating something really beautiful within you. And I feel like this is manifesting something totally brand new into your life. This is you creating something. Taking inspired action on something that's going to bring you to your destiny. I feel like you're, you're investing maybe your time. It could also be your money, but I feel like you're you're investing. You're actually deciding what you want to invest in and what you don't. What you want to take inspired action for and what you don't. But I feel like this is you being very focused. Very focused right now. Scorpio and I feel like because of the situation I feel like you're building up walls I what I'm seeing is that you're not open to love at the moment because you've closed down yourself you've built these walls so high that someone's not able to penetrate them. And I feel like you're doing that for protection. You're doing that to set your boundaries because you want to just focus on Scorpio for right now. You want to focus on what Scorpio wants, what makes Scorpio happy. So you, you're building up these walls so that no one else can penetrate them. But you know what, Scorpio? Eventually, these walls are going to have to come down. Eventually, you're going to have to be open to love again. Eventually, you're going to have to heal from this heartbreak. Okay, let's get a little bit of clarification for Scorpio. Give me an outcome, Spirit, for this reading. January 1st through the 15th. Tell me more about this. How is this going to end? What is the outcome? Okay, the Knight of Wands. Okay, so you know what? What I feel like these boundaries that you're setting, I feel like they're not going to hold. They're not going to hold. Someone's coming in 
And maybe this month, and then maybe next month. Oh, that's a blank card. We don't want that one. Sit that right there. Okay, like I said, it may be this month, and it may be next month. Um, but something's going to come in and totally change your mind. They're being very assertive. I feel like this is a person. This could also be you. But I feel like this person is very free-spirited, very creative. They're coming in to communicate with you. Yeah. You're going to have a new beginning. You're going to begin something over, Scorpio. This is going to take you on a new journey, on a new path. Where you thought you were alone... You thought you were going to be alone for a while. But you know what? I don't think these walls are going to hold somebody back. If they have these intentions to be very charming, very creative, ready to go on this journey to take this leap. See, this fall for this tarot deck has already taken the leap. Now, they're, they're wandering on the journey. He's hanging on for his companion. But he's on his journey. He's seeing what's com coming next. And look, he, he's not worried about the situation. He's smelling the rose. He's smelling the rose. So, yeah, I, I feel like once you get into this situation, you're going to feel like, okay, now I need to take time to smell the roses on this situation because this situation is opening me up to new prospects, to new possibilities. Definitely. And you may be a social butterfly here, Scorpio. You may be hanging around with friends. You may be doing a lot of celebrating there may be reason to celebrate you may be going to parties because you have the knight of cups as well so i definitely feel like this is this is some kind of situation that you're going to be emotional about this is something coming in that may just sweep you off your feet Very interesting, Scorpio. Let's get, okay. Yeah, we'll go here. Let's get some oracle cards on this situation. What can Scorpio expect January 1st through the 15th? What can Scorpio expect? <laughs> definitely this new love interest is going to come within the next few months and it's something that you're not going to expect so what, what i'm going to say to you scorpio is focus on healing now you may want to focus on what exactly you want in your life what exactly you don't want and that's fine go ahead and make those a priority set your balance set your intentions for what exactly it wants but don't build these walls up so high that they can't be penetrated because in the next few months, you're going to get a surprise. There's going to be a new beginning that's going to come forward. And I feel like this is going to bring give you reason to celebrate. Definitely. You're going to have more opportunities. And I feel like because of this magician here, I feel like you're very focused. And this king of pentacles, you're very focused on any opportunities. And once those opportunities come, Scorpio, take action. Take inspired action on the situation. And watch how things blossom. Watch how things grow. Okay, let's take a look at the Moonology. What do we have for Moonology for January 1st through the 16th? Uh, 1st through the 15th. I'm changing up the numbers already. I'm sorry. Okay, what do we have for Scorpio? 
we have a time to give rather than take new moon and virgo yeah i feel like you're focused on yourself at the moment scorpio but i feel like something is going to push you to give more of your time more of your heart maybe even help someone in need but i feel like you're going to be giving something to somebody and look at the bigger picture full moon in sagittarius okay and we're going to take one more what else do we have for scorpio yeah you have the leo energy confidence is the key to your success new moon in leo so yeah okay scorpio leo energy be courageous be fearless you have this you can go through any challenge and be triumphant this is you focusing on your unconditional love on your self-respect on your self-care okay now let's take some manifestation cards now i noticed with these manifestation cards they actually they, they feel like cards that will tell you how to get through your challenges that's how i'm feeling about these cards they're kind of telling you how to get through any challenges or obstacles that's the energy i'm getting from them okay last quarter moon in leo lighten up you know what it may be a leo that's coming through for you you have you have leo energy here okay lighten up Take time to play. Have fun, Scorpio, with that um, see, with that seven of wands energy. Five of wands. Yeah, with that five of wands energy. Lighten up. Take time to play. Work hard, play hard. That's how you do it, Scorpio. And you also have new moon in Libra. Scorpio, know you are loved. Definitely. You have people in your circle who love you and who know your worth. New moon in Taurus. These people in your circle, these people who love and care about you, know that you're loved and know, know your worth. They know what you're capable of, uh, Scorpio. They know how giving you are, how selfless you are. And I know that about you, Scorpio, but I also know that when you're hurt, you build huge walls. You really set your boundaries very high, sometimes unapproachable. And I feel like you know, set your boundaries at a level that's comfortable. But also, don't hold on to any negative feelings. Don't hold on to feelings of the past or hurt feelings that you may have from a certain situation. Okay, you have Kuthumi, Cloak of Wisdom. You already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. Okay, Scorpio. Okay, so Spirit is letting you know that you already know the answer to any questions that you have. You just have to trust your intuition. Trust that Spirit is guiding you. And you have Joan of Arc, Voice of Truth. Stand strong. Focus on your purpose. Release the fear of persecution and speak your truth. Yeah, I, we have that here. Um, communication is the key. Where did we see that? Communication. Okay, confidence is the key to your success. But yeah, I feel like communicating. Letting people know your truth. That's this judgment card. That's the judgment. Letting people know your truth. Speak your mind be flamboyant scorpio 
Stand up for what you know. Be bold. And what you don't expect, Scorpio, you have Lord Ganesh. Infinite abundance. It says your obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. Yeah, that's just what I was saying, uh, Scorpio. You, you're being guided in the right direction. You just have to trust that that guidance is directing you into the right direction. And uh, listen to your spirit. Listen to your inner self, your higher conscience. Um, listen to those little signs that you get that spirit is leading you. Um, and trust. Trust that those connections are for your greater good. Okay, Scorpio, that is what I have for you. And actually, Scorpio, what I want to do is I want you to write in the comments, your obstacles are being removed. Put that in the comment section. Your obstacles are being removed. Okay, and now... Scorpio, make sure to take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity. And please, if you would, if you would hit the like button and comment below, that would be great. It does such a great and wonderful thing to my channel. And Happy New Year, Scorpio. Many blessings to you. Love and light.